Ladies and gentlemen, Joey Eastman for the your ring announcement. The following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 45-minute time limit. Your referee, Bryce Lemsberg. Yeah. Introducing first from St. Louis, Missouri, Matt Seidel. One of the best high flyers in all of North America, Matt Seidel. And his opponent, hailing from Hanover, West Virginia, he is the reigning Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Champion, James Gibson! James Gibson, one of the best technical wrestlers going today. He this was match is a non-title match. Non-title match, as expected. As this dream match is just about to get underway, James Gibson taking on Matt Seidel. Contrast in styles. It'll obviously be James Gibson's strategy to try to ground Matt Seidel, take away that high flying that has wowed fans all over the world. And there's the first lockup, the first of many series, I'm sure, to come. Absolutely. Of wrestling to grace the mat this evening with IWA Mid South here in Midlothian, Illinois. Gibson working the side headlock and takes Seidel over into a head scissor. Certainly, the early moments of this match will be a feeling out process. As Seidel and James Gibson try to gain the advantage. And once again, going to the lockup and right to the arm this time, James Gibson working that hammer lock, already possibly targeting the left arm of Matt Seidel, who now takes him into a headlock and down to the shoulders goes Gibson. Gibson, who will be a member of the Ted Petty Invitational just two weeks from now. Matt Seidel also will be in that tournament. Both these guys obviously trying to build some momentum for themselves going into the Ted Petty Invitational. We talked about it earlier, Chris Hero and I, talking about uh, Nate Webb gaining some momentum heading in, as well as Claudio Castagnoli. Nate Webb gaining momentum just going into tomorrow night as he will face the winner of this evening's IWA Light Heavyweight Championship match. Nate promised a match tomorrow night with the winner of tonight's TLC match between Tyler Black and Josh Abercrombie, but that's not to take away from the action that's in the ring right now. Absolutely not. These two still in the early moments of this match. Gibson, single leg takedown, goes for the cover. Not even a one count. Seidel back to his feet. And now the alternating chance, famous in many IWA contests now. Absolutely. Both these men fan favorites. Lock Back up one more time. To the collar and elbow tie up, right into a side headlock. And Gibson, just like you were alluding to earlier, Ben, needs to keep Seidel on the ground. But that time the, the strategy backfiring as Seidel rolled Gibson back onto his shoulders for a one. Gibson very mat savvy, knows to keep his shoulders off, off the mat for those three seconds. Shoulder takedown, up and over. Hip toss, arm drag, one more, holds out of the arm, and Matt Seidel takes control of this matchup. Very interesting, Seidel seems to be capitalizing more on the style and the technique we figured would have the advantage with Gibson. Absolutely, I, I, but I doubt we're gonna see Gibson doing any uh, shooting star presses or anything like that, so this match is definitely gonna be map based without a doubt. It's gonna be on Seidel to take this to the next level and be able to use his offense effectively for him. And the way to do that is to wear Gibson down. If Gibson is wear, worn down, he, he'll lay on the mat longer and he'll give Seidel the chance to get to the top rope and hit a move like the shooting star press. Takes him off now, Seidel hits the ropes. Arm drag. Tries for one more, rolls right through. Head scissor, takeover. Gibson back to his feet, drop kick. And now, all the way to the outside, this can only mean one thing, Seidel. In 
his element here. Gibson obviously has Seidel scouted, put as much distance as he could between himself, the ring, and Matt Seidel. Absolutely. Very smart move from the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Champion. There's a reason he carries that belt around with him. He knew Seidel, would, that immediately Seidel was going to look for a chance to make a dive to the outside on him, and he got out of dodge quickly. Gibson now rolls back in, Seidel follows him. And we are at yet another standoff. Both men still feeling each other out. Neither man a clear-cut advantage at this point in the match. At this point can certainly go either way. And Gibson perhaps Gibson. getting a little bit frustrated. Instead of going to the mat, goes with a knee to the bread basket. And here comes Huge the chop. Forearm strike. Elbow right to the top of the head. Seidel now reversal. Whips Gibson in. Catches a couple of boots in the face. Spin kick connects. Spinning heel kick to the cranium. Seidel One, a little bit slow. Two. On that might have been the difference yeah. between two and three on that. Come one. on. Two. Two. Over already. Wait, Seidel says it's over already. Perhaps trying to set him up already for the here it is driver. The here it is driver, but no, well scouted. He drops to a knee. A little early in the game to pull that off on Gibson. Fighting his way out with elbows. And Seidel with a scoop. Up and over goes Gibson. Shoves him in. No, Seidel ducks. Tried to go into a roll up. And now Seidel has Gibson on the outside. I don't think he has a presence of mind to get that distance this time, Ben. Drop kick sends Gibson. All the talk earlier about the Boston Red Sox and the White Sox, that was definitely a baseball slide out of Matt Seidel on that one. Because the lead to either team is thus unknown. Up and over, no, Gibson rolls in. Seidel able to catch himself, get on the apron. Oh, he tried to go for a shoulder into the stomach and he caught a knee right in the face. There is nothing scientific about a knee to the face, but it is nonetheless effective coming out of James Gibson. Gibson and now fouls him back out to the outside. Elbow right to the top of the head. Taking it to the pay window with the bionic elbow to the top. Oh! Huge chop! Seidel now sent back in. see almost a perfect five count handprint on the chest of Matt Seidel at this point. King Kong Bundy would be very pleased. Oh. Drops him right across the top rope. Seidel in no man's land, he needs to do something. Gibson's gonna help him. Sends him over. And now he's just gonna stand on his stomach and his chest. All the air rushing right out of him. Well, all the weight also very close to the xiphoid of Matt Seidel. That's a big word. I don't know that word. That's why I'm here, Ben. I am here for the anatomical lessons, much like the late great Gorilla Monsoon. You beat me to it. I was going to call you Gorilla. Big clothesline there sends Seidel down. Can I be Bobby Heenan? And a leg drop out of Gibson. Bobby Heenan has made his way to IWA Mid-South on commentary, and there's a two count of two is all Gibson can get out of that one. Gibson now in control of this matchup. Trying to back him into the corner, getting Seidel into the corner, possibly a gamble. We all know how he can use those corner turnbuckles to his advantage. As and we just see. as we saw, yeah. flying cross body. Oh, Gibson roll straight through, through. one, two. Was that a possible handful of tights out of Gibson on that one? I don't Some know. Shady, shady shenanigans out of the Ring of Honor champion this evening. But I didn't have a clear vantage point, perhaps I'm passing judgment too early. And Seidel again, now in a bad position. Potentially targeting that xiphoid process once again is Gibson. Slams him down. Cover now, one, two. Seidel with the bridge. His shoulders up off the mat. Now, here's where the mat technique of James Gibson comes into play. He's a submission master who knows every, almost every hold in the book, if not every hold in the book. And he's going to use that to wear down Matt Seidel at this point. It, it sounds strategy. I only know two ways to get out of this hold, and that is the get to the ropes or the don't get in it. Those are the only two options. But Seidel, very apt in the ring, perhaps can come up with something else. Variation on the abdominal stretch. Seidel very wisely trying to keep his center of gravity low, but Gibson pulling him right back up. And now the elbows into the rib cage. Not only is that shoulder nearly being pulled out of socket, but then he has the point of the elbow in his ribs. No way to stop that. Seidel, Seidel able to fight out. Hip toss takeover. Go 
close for the elbow drop. He moves. James Gibson now off the ropes. Elbow drop of his own. No. Seidel now on the apron. Up and over. Sunset flip one, two. No, just a two count, says Bryce Remsburg. Gibson now just runs at him and puts his, just his hands in his face and shoves him to the ground. The aggression, maybe even a little bit of frustration from James Gibson. Now Gibson picking him up in a fireman's carry. What's he gonna do here? A lot of options at James Gibson's disposal. Oh, right Tays onto his ribs. And once again, into the midsection, staying on top of the ribs, trying to control the stamina of Seidel. There's a one and a two, but very wise. Right back to the cover, very smartly. Bridge up, slap to the stomach. The shooting star press. The best moonsault, standing moonsault in independent wrestling. Those moves are very difficult to, come, to pull off when you do not have the wind to do it. So very, very good scouting here by James Gibson. We've seen many people attempt high-risk moves too late in the game after too much abuse. Classic examples of shooting star presses that have gone wrong due to exhaustion in this business. Absolutely. Seidel in bad shape here now as Gibson Legs wrapped around that midsection, squeezing the air out. Also getting his hand around the chin and the throat of Seidel, but wasn't able to keep it there, but he's still got those legs locked around that midsection. Gibson with the body scissors around Seidel. Seidel tried to turn it into a pinning combination. Now Seidel to his feet. Yeah! And Seidel Taking perhaps trying to turn him over into a Boston Crab. Does he have the strength? He too does get it, but it may, too may be to too the close to the ropes. Gibson tries to power out instead of grab the ropes. He does. One, two, almost. Another elbow right to the side of the head of Matt Seidel, knocking him to the apron. Only able to save himself from going to the floor. 35 minutes remaining. 35 now, minutes left in this classic encounter. Gibson's, there's something scientific about Gibson. Frustration coming out. Perhaps underestimated the abilities of former NWA Midwest X Division champion Matt Seidel. But this is, we say it before, is not about titles. This is not about heavyweight, light heavyweight. This is about who is the better man tonight here in the IWA Midwest. Absolutely. A, a dream match. Seidel needs to mount some offensive, needs to do something besides that Boston Crab. Thought he had an advantage. And Chest again, first into the buckle. Right into a German, no, wait a minute, he was able to land on his feet. Around, up and over, DDT. DDT, and perhaps that's gonna buy Seidel the time that he needs. He needs to make a cover, but this can also gain him some of that momentum, get him some of that breath back that he needs to capitalize on James Gibson this evening. You're 100% correct. The desperation DDT, putting both men down. Seidel now trying to get the crowd behind him. Bryce Rumsberg up to five on the standing 10 count. Seidel, however, is up to his feet. It looks like are very close to it. Gibson not far behind him. And Gibson has the advantage and firing with a chop. Left Seidel. hands, chop. Southpaw action out of Matt Seidel this evening. Reverse of the Irish whip. And there's a big left forearm out of Seidel and a lariat to follow. Gibson knocked a little loopy here. Maybe not have full grasp of where he is in the ring. Now he's shot into the corner. Elbow to the temple. Gibson now up to the second rope. Spinning backhand. Oh, a standing hurricane run all the way off the top rope. One, two. Just barely able to kick out. I don't think Gibson saw that coming. But Seidel still has to be worn down from all the work to the midsection. How much does he have left after that phenomenal hurricane run up from a standing position to Gibson, seated on the top turnbuckle? The athleticism of Seidel, amazing, but that may cost him more in the long run of this matchup. You can see him there holding his ribs, holding his midsection. Now here setting up for driver. the, here it is, driver. Yes, absolutely. Back elbows once again to break the hold. Right now he's full melt. Perhaps. He full melt. He ducks out of it. One, two. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Remsburg right on top. He saw it. He was not going to allow this match to end like that. There will be no tight point shenanigans this evening under Marshall Remsburg's watch here in the IWA Mid-South. Gibson getting in the face of Remsburg. If he's not careful, Bryce will take him out and disqualify him here now. Seidel takes advantage. Did Seidel, no. Did Seidel have a handful of tights on that one? Lamahistral, cradle one, two. No. Very interesting.
interesting turn of events. Both yeah. men's frustrations coming vented. And look at that. One, roll up. two. Oh, that a creative pinning combination that he has used many times here in Ida Bay Mid South. Seidel trying to get the adrenaline pumping, get himself back into this match. Boot to the gut. James Gibson now sent off across hopes. No, the reversal. And catches him all, all the way around. Swinging neck breaker. Swinging, leaping neck breaker. Compression on the vertebrae of the neck of Matt Seidel. And I don't know how much he's going to have left after a move like that from one James Gibson. Both men now, well over 10 minutes into this match, have beaten each other from pillar to post. And again, Neither man really at this point has an advantage, I would say. Both men are, have been beaten. Both men have been weakened. It's a matter now of who gets the big shot. As both men now exchange forearms, Gibson just runs him into the rope, sends him off. Step over. Spine buster! Not able to keep him down. Shades of the legendary Arn Anderson on that spine buster. Amazing momentum, compressing once again the spine. So we've gone to the midsection, and now the neck and several different areas of the spine affected on that high impact maneuver by James Gibson. Seidel, as you'll notice, very, very slow to get any movement, let alone get back to his feet. And it looks like Gibson now has the clear advantage, setting up for some variation, perhaps a butterfly yeah, pile drive. Trying to butterfly the arms there. Seidel fought it. Now he's going to catch three knees right in the side of the head. Mafia kick, ducked under, and Zagiri stuns him. His feet. Wait a minute. And he's got it. Right into a, a power to one, two. No. It wasn't quite the here it is driver. Almost pulling out the victory over James Gibson. What an upset. I mean, an upset only because of where Gibson stands in professional wrestling right now. Of course, wait a minute. Seidel now, I believe, maybe setting up for that shooting star press. Gibson laying in the middle of the ring. Very high risk after as much abuse as he's taken, and he oh, finds it. No! He moves, butterfly, and power it is. One, two, three. Tiger driver. The Tiger driver from the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Champion gets the one, two, three over Matt Seidel. An excellent match here in the IWA Mid South tonight, Ben. But Gibson came out with a little bit more advantage when it got down to the pin. Seidel gave it his all, but it was just too much. Gibson had missed shooting star, opened the door. It was the first mistake of the match either man had made, and Seidel pays for it. James Gibson, as you'd mentioned earlier, will be back for the Ted Petty Invitational September 23rd and 24th at the Armory in Hammond, Indiana. However, tomorrow night, he has another tough opponent in front of him, one IWA champion. Of course, I'm talking about Jimmy, Jimmy Jacobs. Jacobs. Absolutely, Jimmy Jacobs and, uh, and James Gibson do have a history here in Ida Bay Mid-South.